Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to No Man's Land. We've been pretty busy, we're into January now. And we've been pretty busy with making money, spending money. Uh, so we'll give you a wee glimpse of what's been going on. Um, I changed the shed. I have purchased a fermenting silo. The greenhouses have been doing pretty well. I've got uh, and the chickens. I've got two trays of eggs there. I've changed out the big fertilizer for a smaller one. Um, I wanted to see if I could try and avoid uh, going for large equipment too early. Oh, got a couple of crates here. So I've just been storing them behind here. So when I get to a certain amount, I'll just grab them with uh, a trailer. So we've got a couple more there. I've also plow, I also um, mowed this field again. I've done it maybe twice now. So we've done that. I've hired this baler here. Um, it prevents me from having to ted it and uh, or windrow it and pick it up to put it in. I wasn't sure if the fermenting silo would take silage bales uh, once they're wrapped, but it, it actually does, so that's a bonus. I also um, made enough money and got myself a small tractor, a small vulture here, <coughs> excuse me, which will serve its purpose for quite a while. Oh, and over at the back this way, I uh, kind of had a bit of an instant. I wasn't paying attention and ran through that, but that's neither here nor there. I've also put this field in, which is a wheat field, so hopefully this will serve to uh, provide food for my chickens. Still looking to try and get the cow barn, but I've kind of had a change. I'll uh, show you my plan in a second. I've also, uh, you probably might not have noticed, but the the worker's house is gone because I have actually moved the worker up to the industrial area right here. So I've actually put a bigger home in, so it's actually several rooms for several workers. So we've got a few workers there. Um, I had a, a slurry yard in here, but then I realized that was a bit of a mistake because I don't have a cow barn yet to produce uh, the slurry. Uh, put some fencing up, uh, some lights in as well, just to try and brighten the place up a bit. Uh, also did this, got rid of all the grass from this field here, or the meadow, should I say, because it's not really grass, meadow grass. So yeah, we're at the point of getting this field here done, getting this all bailed up. The good thing about this baler is it is quite fast, so don't need to worry about taking too much time. So we're gonna get this field done. And then once we've got this bailed up, we'll go over uh, what my next plan of action is. I've got plenty manure, uh, manure, plenty silage being created in the fermenting silo at the moment. But I think you might be impressed with the idea that I have. Well, I'm hoping you will be anyway, because I seem feel quite impressed about it. Um, oh, that reminds me as well. I'll show you what else I did. You probably saw at the beginning of the videos I walked. I actually got the this. Oh, excuse me. This um, shelving unit here. So I've put a couple of implements on there, and I got myself the front loader as well. So. That's that all, mainly for the getting the feed off the floor for the chickens when they need it at the moment. 
So how is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. The weather's good wherever you are, at whatever time of the day it is. So I'm actually quite happy or with the way I've kind of planned keeping the trees and sort of molding the fields around it. I think it just gives the fields a bit more character rather than just an empty field with nothing in it. I mean, there are a few fields I'll have that'll have nothing in it anyway, but I think it just adds a bit of character to the the fields. There's a lot of the fields that we have over here in the UK are, um, they have a lot of pylons, electricity pylons through them, so I haven't got pylons in this map at the moment, but I uh, thought, yeah, it'd be nice to add a bit of character to the the fields. Right, so, as I say, we'll get this done, and then I'll go over the, the actual plan that I would like to do with the next field that we buy. And obviously the fields cost 85,000. The cow barn is going to cost me 115,000. And one of the productions that I want to get for it is going to cost, I think it's 50,000. So there's quite a lot of money to be spent uh, next. But as I say, we're getting there with... Um, regards to making money so it may be slow but I'd rather not get too far ahead too quickly if you know what I mean I'd like to be able to do it at a steady pace the last thing I want to be doing is owning huge equipment within the first 10 videos to be honest just depends I mean, the way that the this uh, gameplay is going to be is that I need to build the map. So I'm going to need to maybe build a residential area, um, a production area, that kind of thing. So, and then buying the land. So it's going to cost a lot of money. So I'm just taking it one square at a time, I think. So, but I'm happy. I'm happy myself with the progress that I've made so far. And I'd like to actually thank all of you that have actually stayed subscribed to my channel uh, during my absence. I really appreciate it and the welcome. The welcome back was. It was touching from a few people. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the colla collaboration coming up. So, um, yeah, I'm getting excited to see what ideas are going to come out of this. See what role I'll be playing in this one. I say, say role, but what I'll actually be doing in this in that collaboration. Oh, all I know is it's going to be on the Campaign of France, which is a nice little map to play on. Oh, the worker missed that chunk of grass. I didn't even notice it myself. I've not had too many problems with the workers, with the fields. I'm quite happy with that. We're almost done here. And get this little strip over here. And then we're going to get these bales and we're going to put them in the fermenting silo. The production that I have in mind, I needed to test to see if it would take bales as well. So thankfully it does. Uh, wrapped bales, that is. 
not just standard bales, but wrapped bales. Um, and it could be a quicker process than the process that I normally use. So, but hopefully the uh, soybeans will be ready next month. I hope they're pretty well growing. The wheat uh, is not there yet, but it's getting there. Oh, look at that! Ninety-eight percent. Is there any more grass lying about? See if we can try and get something just to finish this up. I don't think we're going to get anything. A quick look around, see if there's any on the edges. I know some of the, the grass that I cut before I couldn't get because it was not part of my land, so... Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yay. I got a bale. It's still 98%. Right. Okay. So we're going to go and uh, get this. These bales picked up. We'll get them put into the fermenting silo. My chickens are happy. These the chickens will probably get moved once I get the the new land. I'd like to try and get the animals over there. As I say, we've been pretty busy for the last couple of months, just trying to make money and spending money. Get this trailer. Right, so we'll get these picked up. There we go. You do seem to get a, a bit of a glitch with the, with these trailers where they pick up the bales and they're not anywhere near the trailer, but you just need to reset the trailer. And it will work fine. So, yeah, as I mentioned in one of my videos, if I remember, I mentioned it the, with the cows. I was just going to do grass only, but grass will not give me any production. So it's going to be hay. I don't really want to go through the whole, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh, the whole palava with making TMR. Um, if I make enough money, I could buy TMR from the shop, but I don't want to go down that route. I want to try and make sure I can do everything I need to do myself. So hopefully this works. Right. because I got the smaller um, <coughs> excuse me the smaller f uh, spreader fertilizer spreader left me with a, a few bags of Bronk. there we go perfect so now we're up to a hundred and two thousand in silage uh, hundred and thirty six thousand liters of grass so yeah we're gonna be getting a good amount. Turn this trailer around. Try and avoid running over my fields like I did last time. Right, let's have a look on the... Right, let's have a look here a moment and find out how much the eggs... So 3,354 at the supermarket. Uh, silage is at the bale sale point and the farm shop, right about the same price, not too 
and the lettuce, we are at 3,332 and 3,355, so not a, a terribly uh, large gap between the two. So the prices are pretty relatively within reason of each other. Right, okay. So what we could probably do is pick up these pallets of lettuce and we can get these down to the shop and get them sold. Uh, I'll leave the eggs just now. I uh, don't know how many, how many chickens do I actually have in the pen. It's been a few months, so I've got 410 chickens. Wow, okay, now these are 10 months old, eight months, seven months, the youngest one's two months, and that one, so they've just been born. Okay, right, I'm not sure if there's, don't think that goes any higher, the price, once they hit a certain age, it's pretty much, so it's seven months to 25, they're worth £25. Okay, right. So my idea, uh, I'll tell you what I'll actually do. Uh, let's take the tractor over. And we'll go and show, I'll show you what my idea is. And then we'll head to the shop and we'll get the trailer to pick up the lettuce and we're going to sell it but yeah i'm pretty impressed with how the um, industrial areas turned out so far maybe small but it'll do it'll uh, serve the purpose anyway right okay so we're going to go over here to field 33 because this is my next field that I want to or next square that I want to buy because I could do quite a lot here there's a lot of trees uh, that I could potentially cut down and most of them are small trees so they're easy enough to pick up I would just need a small trailer to put them on and a lot of these could be picked up by hand so my idea would be to move my chickens over here maybe in once i get enough money maybe uh, a bigger let's go to the chickens um there is one there's these buildings here where you can get like five thousand chickens but this one here where i can get 450 which is what i've got uh this one here 500 i mean that would be a better option to go with so I could put like the chicken area over here and then the cows this is where the cows are going to go because I'm going to go for this definitely go for this one where are you there you are so my idea would be was to have it turned this way at the sort of angle and then I could go in and out um, or I could have it this way and then you can utilize the fence maybe move it back a bit widen the road and I can build a you know a fence line going down the road towards the the main road um, and then this is what I thought would be a great idea uh, where is it hopefully I find it it's in here somewhere back this way if I remember to install it where did you go it is in here do, do, do. It must be a bit further to the front of the list Oh, 
Oh, that's annoying. I actually had it in here and I can't find it now. Bear with me a second while I see if I can find this because that is annoying me. Because I definitely put it in here. Oh, I can't seem to find it. It was in here. But now I can't seem to find it. It wasn't a cell point. Mm, I must not have actually put it on. Okay, well, I'll tell you what it was anyway. So, it was going to be the grass drying production which would dry my grass for the hay which would then eliminate the need for actually having to windrow and ted it um, and after testing it it's pretty fast at producing so um, it's going to be pretty quick so then I thought that by putting the cow barn in here um, I could put the the grass dryer somewhere here. Use pretty much all of this here and turn it into a grass field. Probably to about the edge of the trees here because there's not much left from here. And then if I play it right, I could probably put a field in here and I could turn that into the wheat field for the chickens. So there's always going to be a, a plentiful supply of stuff for my animals. I want to try and keep it as, you know, as close to me being able to do everything myself rather than trying to rely on buying stuff from the shop all the time. That's my plan, so hopefully that works out. So it probably won't be the longest video going, but it's something hopefully will keep your attention on the on the series. So I had another idea to extend this field here out to here and round. Uh, but I don't want it to go all the way over here. So maybe a plan would be to come across here and up. Um, because ideally, I would like to try and keep my... Because this field will go. Um, so I can utilize as much space as possible for my farmyard i'd like to keep the farmyard down here and then the animals up in number 33 so yeah that's the plan so we do that and i've still got a lonely bale over there i was going to put the cow barn over there in that spot where i was uh, just showing you um there where i'd extend the field But, yeah, we're going to go up to the shop, and I am going to go and rent out uh, the auto pallet loader. There is still a lot of space for a lot of potential for this map. No idea where I'm going to put the little town slash community area so we'll have to wait and see with that all right let's go in and get this remember if it's in here do 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 
that one. General products, get everything as standard. Let's go and get this. So as I say, this probably won't be a very, very long video. Um, but hopefully it's something to keep your attention on the, the series. But I have got a lot of plans. I'm trying to make plans as I go along, or ideas as I go along. So I came up with the idea of getting one of the, the houses for the workers. Also keeps them close to the supermarket as well. Not too much travel for them to go and get their their food and everything else like that. But we're going to need we're going to need other bits and pieces for you know to you know for supplies and stuff. So, but we'll get round round to that. Right, I think this just. Yeah, it does, right. I couldn't remember if this trailer just picked them up on its own or not. So we'll get these, this four here picked up, because I've now got another two. I can pick them up by hand. I could just take them over to the trailer. But... Yeah, it's realistic, I know. I did say I want to try and be somewhat realistic with certain things. It'll be interesting to see what we end up with once we sell this. It could be a bit of a tight turn to get into here. I was also thinking, if it works, which would be a bonus, is the... I'll show you this. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't... No, it's not in there, it's in here. Is the water distributor, or water distributor, whichever way you want to pronounce it. And I was going to put it here in the middle of the four greenhouses. I think that would actually be a benefit. So I could put it right in the middle of the greenhouses, and then I could fill it up, and then it would automatically distribute the water to the greenhouses for me. We just need to hire out something to fill it up because it does take quite a lot of water. Right, okay, so let's go and do this. So we'll go and sell this, and hopefully in the next video, we'll get to see how much money we make on the silage. We'll be in February by then, and I'll, we'll have probably done a lot more of mowing and baling and yeah the i think the series is mainly going to be consisting of more mowing and baling than cutting trees but i'll try and do as much as i can so you're not getting bored of me doing the same thing over and over again the last thing i'd want is for you guys to get bored but I have a goal that I would like to try and achieve is to get 180. I've got 171 of you lovely people subscribed to my channel. And I'm hoping to get to 180 by the end of the year. That's been this year, not next year. <laughs> right, what are we making? Wow, okay. Ooh, 30 grand. I'll take that any day. Wow, that was... Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting that. But we're not going to be buying the land yet. I want to make a bit more money. I want to be able to try and buy everything I need because I still need to buy cows. And yeah, there's no point in buying the land and everything else if I can't get the cows in. I also want to get those trees removed from the field on field 33, and I want to get it ploughed and seeded. That's the snow coming in. 
So what I'll probably do is leave this one here. As I say, this was just a general catch up on what I've done so far and my idea moving forward. But we have accomplished something and that's to get more money. So hopefully in the next one, we will be harvesting. So that's a, a, another good reason why I, I want to save my money because we'll need to harvest both of these soybean fields. These will just get sold straight away because obviously I don't have a silo to put them in and I don't really want to have a silo just yet until I become very well established. Uh, the wheat will be a little while yet. No idea what I want to do with this bit up here. I did have the idea of putting the workers up here, but it's going to take a lot of money to kind of flatten all this out. So, yeah, didn't want to go with that idea. I thought putting them down by the supermarket would be more beneficial for them. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. And as I say, hopefully we'll get a lot more done in the next video when we go forward another month and we get all the fields, our fields done and uh, hopefully a lot more further forward than, than what we are. So if you enjoyed what you've seen, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and share with all your friends and family. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, bye for now.